Welcome to your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report. I'm Army Sergeant Andrew Branstead. It started with a trickle, and then the bottom fell out. Low-lying areas in Area 1 experienced flooding in this season's heaviest downpour. All the streets were flooded. The main road out front here was flooded. Rose fast, uh, quickly actually. It, it rose to probably about five feet. The runoff from the mountains directly behind Camp Casey merged with the water from the Shinchun River to make a very large problem for soldiers and residents of Dondichun. Here is not my house, but I am here to help my uncle. So, uh, yeah, I'm so tired, but I have to do that. Whenever severe weather strikes, stay tuned to AFN television and listen for updates to weather alerts on AFN radio in your area. You can also stay connected to us by visiting us online, www.afnkorea.net, or check us out on Facebook, where we post the most recent information as we receive it. The Area 1 community recognized those who volunteer their time during a ceremony at Camp Casey's Community Activity Center. General Tucker came and personally uh, thanked volunteers for what they do. Also, Colonel Dodge was there for U.S. Army Garrison Red Cloud. Red Cloud Command recognized both soldier and civilian volunteers by presenting individuals with a certificate and a gift of appreciation. That way it shows people that they actually do care. And the more people that, that see that will want to come and be part of it. Volunteers also received a symbolic check for more than $600,000, representing the money they saved the command this past year. To learn how you can volunteer in the Area 1 community, call or visit your volunteer program coordinator. That was your AFN Korea 2-Minute Report. I'm Army Sergeant Andrew Branstead.